We have deeply inequitable practices of school funding that keep all of our students from achieving their full potential. I know that when one hospital closes, downsizes, transforms, it affects the other local clinics. We've paid out thus far in New York State about $40 billion in unemployment benefits. It really underscores the economic damage at a, at a personal and a household level. We have an opportunity to make some change. To reimagine what public safety means and looks like in our city. We don't want to just return to normal because normal didn't work for a lot of folks. The 73rd Assembly District needs a, a trusted, experienced voice, and that's not just my nine years in public office. I served in the Assembly for 11 years, and during that time pushed for protections for tenants, uh, campaign finance, and election reform. Anyone who has 200,000 Americans who died on their watch doesn't deserve to be president of the United States. It is hard to understate just how close to a constitutional crisis we came as a country over the past few weeks. Get your knee off my neck! Get your knee off my neck! Get your knee off my neck! Are you serious? Are you serious? Keep walking! Keep walking! a young black person or a black person protesting police brutality or even a person of color protesting police brutality, you feel that they have all the authority in that situation. It starts with being rooted in a perception of black people, of Latinos, of Native Americans, that we're more likely to be criminal and more likely to be violent.